What's up guys, so welcome back to another video and I just want to come back and give you guys a quick update on the 7.02 developments that's happening right now. Now guys, I didn't want to make a video unless I was pretty sure and certain about the information that I'm going to pass over and what I'm going to talk about. So guys, if you remember, I did have a video recently and I talked about the 7.2 uh, possibility of a jailbreak and I talked about a hope just got bigger and now it's getting more solid. We did talk about the Talos uh, reports over here and all of these coding that could be a possibility for the 7.02 firmware. So guys, after this, there has been a lot of development. So I want to go and run you through that real quick. If you look over here, we do have a lot of different articles being published. This is this December 12th. That's just from yesterday. As you can see here, a WebKit exploit release for 6.xx could potentially work on 7.xx. Now that is really good news. It could be possibly for 7.00, 7.02, but I'm not really sure about 7.55 just yet, but we're going to keep that on the side and look into that a more detailed in a bit. But guys, here is a little bit more in detail. If you look into Soler Gove, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. Let's just call it SG. So if you look into SG's Twitter account over here, he didn't mention regarding the new exploit disclosed at BHEU. Could anybody run this and this uh, link provided or equivalent code on 5.05, .05, anything other than the 6.xx firmwares? Now this is to go ahead and get information that could be a possibility of a a breakthrough with the 7.02 firmware. So guys, if you look over here, there was a particular event, it's called the WebKit Zero Day event that happened in Europe and it does talk about attacking the PS4. And guys, there's so much more details over here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna drop the links in the description so you guys can go check it out in detail. So let's just go down to the point that's very important here. If we go to the bottom, and as you can see here, it does mention porting the exploits on the 7.xx firmware. Now it does talk about, you know, the successful exploit on the bug on 6.xx. And there is a thing that actually works on the 7.xx firmware too, but they will have to find out, find that out with the brute forcing of the PS4, which is kind of tedious. So this is what the situation is. And if you look over here, if we go back to SG's Twitter, uh, a, a specific tool to go ahead and look into what possibilities are available. And this is to be run on 5.05. .05. So he did make a one-click version available on this particular link and he was going on accepting reports to get more information. If you go to the latest tweet that he mentioned, that was game over, no more reports are accepted, I've had enough. Now that sounds like a pretty good interesting thing over there, I think because he does have enough information to go on with. But guys, that's not it. There is another tweet that came out just a few hours ago. And if you look into this one, and here are some valid 7.2 addresses that they found out. Through all this reporting, the success rate is about 10% for the last one. Unfortunately, the exploit then crashes in the critical section in the leak JSC. We'll now investigate how to fix it. So guys, you know what that means? It is now successfully done. Though it is still at 10%, it is going to be worked on and they're going to make an amazing job out of it. So guys, uh, we got to give a hats off to all the devs working on it and I really appreciate them all. So by this time, guys, another few weeks or I, I suppose by Christmas, I'm pretty sure there might be a 7.02 a jailbreak publicly available so guys what i recommend if you're in a jailbreakable firmware right now like 5.05 .05 or 6.72 i would suggest you stay there not update to 7.02 just yet but for people who are already on 7.02 i'm sure you're the happiest right now and there's a jailbreak coming out very very close at, at hand for people who updated beyond 7.02 guys um, i would suggest still hold on there might be more news regarding the 7.xx as mentioned over there. So right now it's being focused on 7.02, but I guess we're gonna find out shortly. And just on a side note guys, if you look into Lightning Mods, he says, I'll be releasing a new PS4 homebrew, hopefully before Christmas, me and Master Zorag have been working tirelessly on it and I can't wait for the release. So as mentioned guys, these guys are these devs, respectfully are doing a lot for us. Hats off to you guys, you're really doing a great job and I really look forward to seeing this jailbreak that's out and once it is out guys i will definitely be covering a, a video about the 7.02 so guys uh not a problem let me know what you think about this which firmware are you on are you enjoying your 6.72 jailbreak are you on 7.02 waiting eagerly or have you gone way beyond to the 8.00 firmwares all right guys so that's about it i want to just go ahead and wrap this video up real quick just want to share this important information with you as mentioned i didn't want to go ahead and make a video unless i was very certain that was proper solid information and there you go guys i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you have a great week ahead well i'll see you guys in the next video and i hope you guys have a great week ahead until then cheers guys
拜。